posted a lot of videos on various different digital products that you can create and sell online that I am seeing trending upward and you should probably jump on them while they're hot. This first one I feel like is so so popular nowadays, especially on Instagram, and that is guides. A guide is usually a PDF and it includes tons of information, resources, tips, advice, and instructions on how to master a specific skill. A guide could be creating and selling digital products or a guide to building a YouTube channel to sell your digital products or a guide on on getting freelancing clients. So those are things that go along with knowledge that I have and the topic that I speak about. Guides are just so easy to create. I mean, you do have to put a lot of effort into making sure they're valuable. I talked all about that in my last video. Once you get your knowledge down on paper, whatever it is that you're wanting to educate somebody on, then it's essentially just typing it out putting it in a PDF, designing it in Canva, and then you are good to go. You have your digital product. Next on the list, which can actually go hand in hand with your guide as far as like a bundle, or it can be sold separately, and that is workbooks and worksheets. These are more interactive, so instead of just being a PDF full of information, this might be a PDF that is asking questions and you know teaching you how to do something, but there's work for you to do as well. So if you have a course, you could create a workbook or a worksheet to go along with your course. If you have a guide, you could create a worksheet version of the guide so they can look through the guide but then have a place to take notes. So it can be the bestie of another digital product or it can stand alone. An example of this could be a goal setting workbook or a worksheet. So, you know, this is something that you could launch at the end of the year for the next year. And this workbook could walk you through questions and brainstorming to help you set your goals for the next year. So that would be a workbook. If you wanted to pair a guide with that, that really gave you an understanding of why setting goals is important, you could do that. But for example, using my brand and my topic, I could create a workbook that is creating your digital product. Instead of just being something full of information, I'm walking you through steps on how to figure out what the best product for you would be. Maybe determining what audience you're trying to attract and you know what their problem is so that you can figure out how to solve it. My workbook could walk you through those steps of figuring that out and it's an actual workbook so you're working with me through that exercise. Next on the list, I truly believe is replacing courses in the online space and that is memberships. And this is something I'm actually planning on doing at some point. Uh, let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a membership, what you would want to have included in it, what price point you think is fair. The hard thing with a course is that one, it takes a lot of work to create a really high quality course. And then sure, once you release it, it is passive. So you just have to keep creating content, leading people to your course and selling it. The problem with a course is once somebody buys it, they purchase it and then that product is done for that person. And this is the same for guides and workbooks, but those are smaller scale. They don't take you as much time to build. But with a course, you put a lot of time in it. I mean, this could take you months, a year to create, and then you release it. And then your sales of this depend on you building your audience further and further and further. And you know, I would hate for all that work to be wasted. So instead, if you have something like a membership, you can, before you launch, you know, put quite a bit of information in it. So you wanna make sure there's some sort of catalog of content already in the membership for when somebody first signs on, you know, that first month you release it. So there is some upfront work. After that, you create a plan, a schedule, just like if you were creating content for Instagram or YouTube or a podcast, instead you're creating exclusive content for your membership. So you can still be creating your other content to lead people to the membership, and then you're creating content for the membership. So not only is it kind of dividing the amount of time you spend in a course, you're creating content every month instead of creating tons of content and then releasing it all at the same time, it's almost like you are 
building a course, but you're releasing it every month, little bits at a time, which is convenient for you because now- Are you okay? Because now you can put this into your weekly or monthly schedule instead of trying to hurry and batch hundreds of videos all in a few months, you're just creating like a video a month. And I just feel like that is less overwhelming and less likely to lead to burnout. So that's a benefit. The other benefit is this is reoccurring. So a course, say you're selling your course for three, $400. That's a pretty good chunk of change but once they purchase it they're done say that you have a membership and it's thirty dollars a month they're going to continue paying you thirty dollars a month it might take them a while to get to that three four hundred dollar point but beyond that if they continue signing up for your membership each month then you will be making more money than you would have if you sold a course. This is something where they're gonna continue paying you month by month. And if you get a hundred members, you know, and you're selling it for $30 a month, you are making $3,000 per month indefinitely if those people stay signed on or as long as you keep 100 people you know signed up for your membership so it's just it's not as passive it is something you're creating content for on a monthly basis but as far as the reoccurring revenue that's great which is why i really want to work towards having a membership on my own so finally on the list is workshops i actually just released my very first workshop recently i'll have all of it linked below if you want to check out what it's all about but workshops are so great because you pick your topic you sit in front of a camera and it doesn't have to be you know a canon eos or whatever this can be a webcam this can be your phone i don't know what smartphone you have but mine can record in 4k which is very high quality so whatever it is that you have use it record you talking about a topic that you're trying to educate somebody on and you know talk for 45 minutes to an hour you know 30 minutes at least and provide tons of value edit the video uh, you can use slides that you created in canva or you can just you know edit it like a youtube video whatever it is you want to do you know you can put it on youtube as an unlisted video and put that video link in your stand store if you're using stand store and essentially you're just selling this video that is educating somebody on a topic and you know you could sell that for 45 bucks and somebody purchased this long informative video video and they take notes they learn from it and that's it end of sale and so i recently launched a workshop that's all about building evergreen sales funnels for your digital products so really how you're able to sell your digital products passively and that digital product i think i'm selling it for 57 dollars. i'm actually thinking about lowering the price down though i feel like 40 would be better. So anyway, check that out because I'm probably going to be lowering the price before this video launches. But anyway, really you are just packaging your knowledge in a video versus a PDF and you're selling it to your audience so that they can learn from that. So these four digital products are what I think are trending this year, what I think are gonna be selling very well. <laughs> I love you. Got an apple? Good. Healthy. So if you have any questions about any of these products, please let me know in the comments. Also, find me on Instagram. I'm constantly posting over there as well and am totally available via DM if you have any questions. And if you do want to dive deeper, check out my products. They'll be linked below. But otherwise, in the meantime, watch this video here. I think it will be helpful for you as well. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye, besties.